Hi, this is Clouds in the Kitchen and today I'm going to make for you a Brazilian fish stew. It may not be the original moqueca, we call it, M-O-K-U-E-C-A, but it's the way I prepare it and I please a lot of people by doing it. What you will need is green chilies, cumin powder, coriander seeds that I have mashed here with some salt after dry roasting it. Literally, you just put it in a pan with nothing in it and then when it starts to go fragrant, it's ready. Put it there, pock, 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 and it's done. Um, here I already prepared something earlier because otherwise we wouldn't have time and we would have to edit my video, but I don't want to edit my videos. I will show you what I have. I have onions, red pepper, which you will cut so that they look like this. Yeah, little slivers. If you want to cut them in any other way, please go ahead. The onions, I find just come over here, my love. Uh, try to bring the camera there because otherwise the pan is way too noisy. This is how I do it. Remember, Clouds is um, a lazy cook in a way. There are no difficult recipes here. And basically, you cut your onion this way and go ahead that there is no chefy trick in this channel I can't be bothered I like good food so you've got a mega luna yeah put it over there with garlic yeah see I'm caramelizing this but you don't have to leave it for so long how do I peel the garlic this is a garlic cloth knife on top punch Ooh, the skin comes off you have your garlic, you have many options. You can either put it in the pillow and uh, the pestle and mortar, or you can just mash it up like this, and then Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle in England means it's done, ready. Get over it, done. <laughs> okay, then you put tomatoes. When the onions and the peppers are ready, you put some tomatoes that should Sorry, it's on top of the fish. Should look pretty much like this, the size of your thumbnail. Okay, mix it together. I have here some bay leaves from my garden. What I do with bay leaves is I'll just rip them. Yeah, great. I also found some Burmese Indian bay leaves the other day. This is what they look like. Um, once when I was in Chiang, not Chiang Mai, sorry, Kotao. I didn't sleep. Uh, Mini cooked me the best chicken curry and she used this and I thought I'd never find it outside of Asia but I'm glad that London is an accommodating place for Asian people and here we are in almost every Asian supermarket. You do that and then you let it cook for a little while. Ground cumin, not much, just a little flavor. Smell this, my friend gave me, you can smell this. Mm. Yeah, this comes from actually South America, or is it Ethiopia, somewhere, and it's delicious. It's uh, slightly sweeter than all the other humans. Now, for some exercise, this is my exercise for the day. Ground coriander, which I prefer to ground myself. Oh, Jesus, this is, I actually had it in my backpack. Yeah, I know. Fragrant already. Ladies and gentlemen, now chili, green chili, again, be happy. This will release the flavors from all your food. You can also pestle and mortar it, but you know, I finished my exercise class for today, so there. Smell heavenly. Um, completely from another country. A pinch of oregano, it just does it. I don't know what it happens, but it makes it lovely. And here we've got some ground turmeric, haldi for Indians. I put quite a lot, but you shouldn't put too much because it goes bitter. And you shouldn't put it in the beginning of the cooking also because you will kill all the medical properties, medicinal properties. Da -da -da. Remember the sounds that I like. Freshly ground pepper. Nothing like it. Now, 
coconut oil. Mm. How is this for heat? Yum. See, you have a sauce that is ready. Okay, you can put now a chicken uh, cut in really thin slices. Mm. Smell this for the love of Jesus. You can put a little salt. I put a little extra because we're going to put really bland fish in there. Okay, you have the sauce ready. What I normally do is I will make this. Um, not too fast. <laughs> I will make this and let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, I'll heat it up again and then all the flavors come back up. Right, what I bought yesterday was some barracuda, which is delicious. I'm going to put this first. Yes, you can use pork. Yes, you can use chicken. You can use beef. But you can also use fish. White fish, I prefer. Yeah, chunks of it. And you can use prawns, deveined and shellless of the shells. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit to put the prawns. I want this to cook for like two or three minutes in a kind of a high um, high flame. Now, what I do is, while this is going, I've got here some chopped coriander, fresh coriander please, chopped fresh parsley, and chopped spring onions. Okay, have a look at this. Don't do scissors. We know this is not gonna get anywhere. Make sure it's cut diagonally and make sure it's thin. Shall I show you how I do it? I think it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, you wash. Go this way. Okay, this is how it is. I actually use this in my cooking when there is no guests. This is the root of the spring onion in Chinese medicine. It's a lung strengthener, so it tonifies your lungs and it really tastes like onion. To save myself time and not go da 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 da, what I do is I will cut my spring onions like this, bring it together, and I'll go diagonally because, yes, you do eat with your eyes. So I'll go like this, sometimes faster, sometimes slower. Remember, your kitchen could be your meditation hall. It certainly is for me. I don't need to be sitting through lotus to feel peaceful. Just give me a knife and something to cut and I'll be happy. See, this is how you have it. Gorgeous, makes your food look fantastic. Okay. Now I'm gonna put me prawns. <clears throat> People, this is gonna be so good. Are you hungry? That was a yes, by the way. It's very quiet today. I wonder what's going on. This is my friend Peterson. Shall I show you? No. Things go mute. <laughs> okay. So we have spring onions. Quite a lot now. Ooh, sorry. Parsley and coriander. Also we have lime leaves, which are my love. I love them. Uh, sometimes when you're not in a tropical country, you're going to find limes are really hard. Try to source limes that when you press, go soft like a, I don't know, like a little ball, like a toy. See, can you see it going in? Yeah? Okay, if they don't do that, try and do this trick here. Don't break your plates. Just press with the weight of your body and roll it like that. You will find it goes juicier. You squeeze half a lime for normal people and for clouds you go for the whole lime because I love limey, lemony food or as they say in Thailand, lemon. <laughs> I love lemon. And okay, we have it ready. This is completely ready. 